Uh, today we're going to play a little bit of red green monsters in, in standard. I played a league with this yesterday and played a couple more leagues last night. And noticed that, like, I really didn't like the Earthshaker Kenras, so I decided to cut those and I wanted to try a couple different cards. I found that with the deck, I wanted cards that were good early and good late. So I'm going to try out these, this Untamed Kabu here, because it's a 2-2 two -two on 2 or a 5-5 five -five on 4 or 5. And then I'm going to try these Ballistas. I added, I added like these right here into the deck, the Ronuses and the Rishkars. <clears throat> so I kind of want like more big creatures, which the Untamed Kabus are, to go with like the Jade Lights, the Rekindling Phoenixes, and the Glory Bringers. And also, like, the Rishkars were nice to make, like, these Blistas better, to make the Glamour Elves better. And then we just got, like, the Resilient Kenra, which I think I wanted to have one game, okay, but we'll, we'll go like this for now. Uh, the sideboard's pretty much the same as I played yesterday. I, I've added two Ethersphere Harvesters because the Mono Red deck was <coughs> beaten up on me a bit. So, we're going to give this a whirl. Jump into the league this morning. Let's go competitive standard. Played a very unfortunate match league this morning. Well, like, I, I thought I played pretty well, but didn't end up working out too much. I didn't see, I played against the blue-red God Pharaoh's gift deck and didn't see enough rain, which was a little frustrating. But what are you going to do? I cut one Rekindling Phoenix because, like, the chain, the, the chain Walker card is everywhere. That's another reason why I cut the Resilient Ken Ra. It's just another X1. And the Chain Walker was, like, everywhere yesterday. I played against Andrew Jessup twice. He's playing a mono red deck and he just, like, clowned me. That's kind of why I want the Ballista. I want, like, a Mana Sink. I and mean, there's a lot of X1s. Like, the God Pharaoh's Gift deck, mono red. And, um,. Uh, Martyr Vehicles with the with Martyr Vehicles I've seen that a couple times with Karn, which is pretty sweet. And make sure you guys get Okay, sorry if that hurt your ears, just making sure it's gone. So we're just we're actually gonna ship this hand. It doesn't really do a whole lot. And uh, this hand's worse, but I don't think I'm gonna Bottom because it's single cycle in it. Best draw here would be just something to curve out with. Okay, so we're playing, it looks like another vehicle deck. Yeah, we're gonna play this Kabu on two. That's just as a actually I might I might hold up in a braid. I'm gonna braid this. Because the Kabu's not really doing anything at the moment. Like I'm gonna take five. I don't really want to take five. So I think I'm just going to break this Scrap Heap Scrounger and just take one. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't play another artifact before combat. It always feels bad trying to kill the Scrap Heap Scrounger. I think I'm just gonna be mana efficient. I'm gonna get this out of the play. Now if I draw like another two, like I've got eight more, I have seven more two drops. I guess I've got three Kenras, one Kabu, and three Walking Ballista. So I have seven more two drops in my deck. So if I draw another two drop, I can go like Untamed Kabu and something else. I'm gonna play for my opponent. All right, we are flooding out a tad. I'm actually, I'm just gonna hold this. Play this Kabu next turn. It is kind of suck to do nothing with our mana, but I, I just want to play this 5-5. Five five. I'm probably it's probably gonna get like a license disintegration, so maybe I should just play it anyways. Alright, well at least we're gonna get an attack in with our Ronus. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna attack with the Ronus, because I, I feel like there's something like they can throw a Thopter at this, make it so it can't block. And they could easily, I'm like, they could easily disintegrate my Kabu. So I might as well get my beats in while I can, because I doubt I'm going to be able to block with it. And I'll just 
play another combo next turn. Yeah. Let's go to that attack, because I didn't think I was going to be able to. Okay, so that probably... So I can exert on this, and my opponent only has three points on the board, and then we attack again, they attack us for three. They need an artifact, but an artifact, I could just hit the Pia, or then hold back the Rotus. <coughs> I don't know, tough, tough call. Got a couple different plays here. I know I'm gonna play that. I think the line might be to like, cause if I go attack for nine, and then next turn this is lethal. Yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna exert on this Thopter. Make it so they have to play like an artifact to kill me. With like an unlicensed disintegration or something. That if that was the case, I shouldn't have played the Oasis. I should have held the Oasis and just missed the land drop. Or at least this makes them respect they have to leave something back for the bonus. Yeah, that was a mistake playing this Hesha Oasis, I think. Okay, so there's Chandra. Chandra probably goes down on my Glorybringer. Yep, so I gotta play the Kabu. They're just going in for two. Okay. So now I think I just kick this. this Ronus at the Chandra. Because again, they, they'll need, they need like, they need artifact. Okay, so that's, that's good for, that could mean that they have like, they're going to tick this up. I don't know. It's, if we get to untap with this Ronus, we're in good shape. Okay, so there's an Abraid. Double raid, tick up, they kill us. Yep. So I guess I could have made him do it, but I should I should have waited one more time. But all right, so we're playing against a red black vehicles deck. So I think I want my harvesters, the brontodons. I don't want to go like super under them because they might board into like a bigger plan. So I think cards that I don't want. I don't think I want the Ronus. I want. I think I want the Ballista. The Struggle to Survive is probably aren't that good. The Ballistas are probably good. Um, Rishkar is probably fine. I'm assuming that the Phoenixes and the Glory Bringers are good. But the Glory, the Phoenixes might not be as good because they could have Ballista. I know I want Thrashy B. I know I want probably one more Magma Spray to just deal with, um, because they have a lot of creatures that it kills, so. I'd like to make room for these two Harvesters, but I don't exact, I don't super know what to cut. Maybe I want to cut, like, Rishkars, but I kind of want to keep the Rishkars. I could shave on a Glorybringer, it's expensive. And, like, well, we gotta think, like, are they gonna go big? Maybe I should have, like, less removal on the play. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a Magma Spray, bring these in because we have plenty of removal we have like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve maybe it's just good to like cut these magma sprays as well and bring in chandra on the play because like, I, th I bet they're gonna board big i think they're gonna go big after sideboard i like the kabus the kenras yeah i think we're gonna try this Give this a whirl. 
It's always so hard to sideboard against these decks because of the old like switcheroo plan that they do from time to time. Yeah, we'll keep this in. Play the Kenron 2 and the Rishkar on 3. We have an Abrade for like a Heart of or something like that. No double green yet, but the Rishkar should help with that. Maybe I'll play the Kabu on 2 so that I can get something out of the Kenra. You know, like have it have its like plus 2. Yeah, I think I'm going to play the Kabu on 2. So that um, the Kenra at some point is going to be able to do some work. Okay, I'm ready. Well, now I'm going to play the Harvester. And then probably play... I don't know. Okay. Drew land. I think now because I drew the land, I'm gonna play this. So can I crew this with this on the stack? No, I need a target, which is kind of unfortunate, but but I want to make it so I can double spell if I need to. So we're getting there with our harvester. lifelink I could wait on the lifelink but I think I just want to get the three damage like I easily could play like risk card next turn and then make it larger and then get the lifelink for like eight points over two turns but they might kill it and you know they got a braids and brontodons hang or a braids and unlicensed D's hanging around so this is getting abraded on their turn and then we're, we're kind of going to hope we draw a land. If we draw a land, we're in pretty good shape. We're going to glory bringer this, come in for seven in the air. I don't know what, they're, they're missing land drops. So they're on, they're on mono spells. So we need to, I need to start putting a hurt on them. That sucks. Um, so do I want this counter on this? Or this. I think I want the counter on the Rishkar because I'm, I'm looking for this to die. So let's... So if I want the counter on the Rishkar, I have to crew this before combat. It means I can't attack. Yeah, I'll just put them on both of these creatures. Make these creatures relevant. Oh, give me one second. Hey, don't eat my hat. You have plenty of chew toys, buddy. Eat your chew toys. Give my dog all these toys, then he just eats my hat. Again, I'm just gonna use the life flank while I can. He's a block that probably means he wants to preserve his artifact. So he's probably got like an unlicensed disintegration or something like that. I'm pretty cool with crewing the harvester. I'll probably crew the harvester Doomfall. Easy. Targeting me, opponent exiles a creature they control. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this Rishkar. And I'm just gonna attack with this Kenra. I'm not gonna exert the glory bringer. Because, like, I wouldn't want to exert there, because if they want to go trade with the Kenra, then I can bring the Kenra back. So, then I can just keep beating him with the Glorybringer. So, on the draw, I probably do want some more removal, and I should take out some more of the aggressive cards. Like, we probably can cut down these rich cards, we can cut down the Chandras, and I can probably just bring in my Magma Sprays. I wonder if I can find a room for these scavenger, Death Ward scavengers. I could cut the Kabus. 
I want to have enough glory bringers for reach. Maybe going bringing these in is okay on the draw. Want my jade lights, my Kenras, I like those. Yeah, we'll give this a try. If anybody's any sideboarding tips, just let me know. I don't play too too much standard. I've, I've been pretty. I just have a big schedule, and it's tough for me to like devote as much energy to standard as I want to. Yeah, we'll keep this. We have a very painful Jade Light Ranger, but we've got like the Walking Bliss is very good. Jade Light's going to help us smooth out to this Glory Ringer. I don't play just play a mountain on one. Let's draw a basic four. So like a, a red green. Okay, well now we're gonna throw it out the windows. We're gonna we're gonna do our nut draw here. So I feel it's kind of gonna kill this. Yeah. Which that's cool with us. I think I'm just gonna play my own. Just get it out here. Play my own ballista. <laughs> Could have held a magma spray, I guess, but. Okay, so we have a harvester. Alright. Harvester's gonna be annoying. Harvester's just annoying. Harvester's just like a very good card in all like creature combat scenarios. We're gonna first we're doing attacking. I've got two black. I can play this tapped in order to, like... I probably can play a tap next turn, though. But if I don't draw an untapped land... If I, if I use my tap land now, my Jade Light doesn't give me an untapped land, then all of a sudden I don't have Glorybringer on five. But I think we can get away with that. This is a very painful Jade Light, though. <coughs> We've taken three points of damage from our lands, which is worth... Graveyard. And we'll put this on top. It's just another creature and it kind of fills our curve pretty well. Alright. This card's so good with this harvester. Maybe I should be playing this card. In here somewhere. Alright, they're just gonna they're gonna play D. Their ballista. Play the shelter ticket. Pass the turn. Maybe I'll we'll gain some life here, which is good. Opponent's only on three cards, and we've got pretty good plays set up for the rest of the like. We're we're gonna like not do a whole lot next turn, but we can just put a counter. Hey, Archmage, how's it going? We can just put a counter on. This ballista, if we need to. I like the ballista. I mean, this is my first match I've played with it, but it's kind of cool how it just goes everywhere. That's a lot of flying. So now I can attack with my Jade Light Ranger and threaten to, like, put a counter pin. That feels kind of mopey with my turn when I can play this Rekindling Phoenix. But I would like to start working this Walking Blista. Next week's the last week of the semester. Do you have a job lined up there, bud? I hope so. Um, play the Shelter Ticket. I can play Phoenix or put a counter on my Blista. I think I'm okay trading off this Jade Light Ranger, especially when I have a Death Gorge Scavenger. And I don't want... Yeah, I think we're gonna get in here. Because then it sets up next turn where I can play Glory Bringer, exert it, and then if they try to block with this, they just block and then we finish it off with the Ballista. So many more years in college. They're gonna gain a million life, which is kind of annoying. And 
now we can hold up. Oh, I don't want to cycle that. And now next turn we can exert our glory bringer, hit this P up, and then like make it so they just have. Or we probably we probably actually want to hit the Thopter. So that if they have another Pia, it's stranded in their hand, and then they can't double block our Glory Man. Unless we draw an untap. Scrappy. Okay. I don't think that changes our play very much. We probably could Magma Spray this now. Alternatively, if they attack with this, we can attack their Glory Bringer and our Death Forge Scavenger, and just make sure to. Uh, Time it right, so we hit this and eat it. Okay, we're just gonna take this. It's a pretty good draw. Now I can spray this. I have to make sure that I put, so it's first and last out. So I need to stack the scavenger first and then I'll exert on this thing. Alternatively, I can just spray this so I don't, I can't even misclick it, which I like the sounds of. I'm gonna do it now so they can't crew or like fling it at me. I guess they can sack this, sack the artifact. Oh, they're gonna leave it up there. Now we can have the option to just clear their board. All right, we're gonna eat our own glory bringer. Smoke this Pia. This unlocks another Pia if that's what they've got in their hand, but such is life. And it's gonna be tough to race them just because they can like they've got three they have two more activations of this harvester so i might have to watch out for that which probably means i can play the rekindling phoenix next turn but they need to like this scavenger is gonna gonna like gonna do me some work here like, it's gonna at least it's gonna gain me six life on board if my opponent doesn't have any interaction okay that's okay it's been exerted it's done its thing Let this happen. F6 through here. We're gonna go to eight. We will attack for four, gain some life, and then play a Phoenix. And then we'll gladly trade. The, the, we're basically going to trade the Ballista for this Harvester. If that's what ends up going down here. But I'll just hold this land in my hand. I might take one more shot because... Um, oh, that could be a Hazret. That's exactly what this is. No, it's just the Ballista. Okay. We're just going to deal one damage to this to get this off here because this could pick our Phoenix off. I think I'm all right with this little trade here. I think I should, my opponent should have waited and attacked, I think. They should have like made it so that I couldn't block with this rekindling Phoenix. But now we're just going to like hatch up Oasis, this Death Gorge scavenger. That's a really good draw. our own harvester we have so much life gain that we're we're in pretty good shape now they can't like block it 
Gonna lead our Phoenix back. Get their Ballista. We're in pretty good shape here, I think. I like this deck a lot. I like this deck before before um, the old set, but like now that it's got Land of Warhouse, I'm pretty excited about it. It's been a good match to start the day. And then like next turn I can do something like pump my scavenger, attack again, and attack with a harvester and just start getting like a lot of life. If I draw a creature, I can just do it all. I think I want to exile the harvester. Is that crazy? Because like if they have another removal spell, then my harvester's not doing anything. It doesn't get in here, but I don't like having a vehicle when there are so many. Um, I don't like having a vehicle. Wow, that's a, such a good draw. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six. I play a three, three ballista. <coughs> I guess first thing I'm gonna do is attack with this McKinley. And then I'm gonna play a 3-3 Ballista and ping this Harvester. This has been a really good game. I can clean up this, this thing too. They could have an answer for my Phoenix, but like I'm effectively gonna get a two for one because of this walking ballista. They're gonna gain a little bit of life. These harvesters are so good in like these creature matters matchups. So we get our 0-1. I like this Ballista a lot. This deck's got so much mana, and it just wants to curve out that you want cards that are good on one, and cards that are good in the late game. I think I'm gonna take care of this too, because I don't want them to have like a disintegration turned on. I think Brawl's cool. I haven't played it at all there, Archmage. It looks fun. There we go. What do we have coming? Just land. The lands were alright at that point, anyways. So I'm gonna put this up here. I'm gonna do a little about me here for a second. We got a lot of people watching today, and I, this is a format I usually don't play. So my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, Card Hoarder is the best Magic Online bot chain around. You guys should uh, check them out. They uh, just for the, what they do for the community is just awesome. Um, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's all linked below. It doesn't cost you anything. Like, that's the best way to support me. I get magic's expensive, so you don't want to, like, you know, you don't have to do the Twitch subscription. I don't do this for a living. I appreciate it, but that's the best way to support me. Um, and it just check me out on Twitter. I love talking magic on Twitter. I love all the formats right now. Uh, even limited's fun. I play the sealed, and I don't play a lot of limited. And uh, Gamer Craze is a store that sponsors me. They were from where I learned to play Magic. Their Crystal Commerce is linked below. They have a really cheap uh, buying system because uh, they foster like a college environment. So they have good prices on other stuff. So just check it out. All right, we are back here. I need to make this a little larger. So this hand's, this hand's good. This is what we drew it up for. We get the turn one elf. Like we want that, we want that land war elf on one, baby. We want the Jade Light Ranger on two. Let's see if people like Yeah, Paradox Engine's a cool card. Don't kill my elf. Don't kill my elf. Let me cast a Jade Light Ranger. <clears throat> Play like some stupid Heart of Kieran. Right, we're we're going to play this. We're going to put the shields down on the Abraid. Because I think getting the heart into play, or getting the Jade Light Ranger into play is pretty important. I'm glad they didn't like the. I mean, no, I'm actually not glad they killed this at all. Treasure map. So we're playing against like a grindy deck that missed the land drop. I could have abraded there, but I, and played a tap land and then got rekindling Phoenix. But I think I would rather. I want to put this on the bottom. I think it doesn't provide any card advantage, and like I think big creatures aren't going to matter in this matchup. I'm gonna snap a braid this thing. 
and then play a Kendra and pump this. What is this MGG Arena? <laughs> so we're gonna play a. Okay, Magnus Ray. I think I'm cool with letting them just keep doing this. I think I just want to start getting my Phoenix going. If I could have, like, I couldn't really, like, playing the Kenra by itself isn't super great. And I couldn't really get a good double spell turn there. So I think I just want to get this off. I just want to, like, do fall. Okay. Alright, so now that we have five mana, I'm going to hit this. Actually, I guess first. I should, I should just Jade Light first. Just try to be mana efficient. It might not be, like, the cleanest turns. I don't think we want this. Yeah, I do think we want another Jade Light right here. Jade Light's just a big boy. That, uh, that'll give me some selection. So, big fan of that. Fall, so we're gonna take a McKinling Phoenix from my hand, which kind of sucks. But we can get on board here pretty well next time. We're gonna crack them for six, probably play out our whole hand. So we'll start with this before we play. I actually kind of want to hold this shelter thicket. Um, I think we want to put this on the bottom. I think we're just looking for threats at this point. So we'll play that. We'll go pump this Jade Light Ranger, and then crack in here for six. I do like how this resilient Kenra gives me good attacks. Like, I can use it to pump a creature to get in there. And now as long as he doesn't like Bantu's last wrecking mass, we're pretty we're pretty insulated on the board here. Scavenger grounds, doesn't really matter. Sweltering Suns. I did not play around Sweltering Suns. That was bad. Actually no, we're just gonna bring back this camera. Six. It does kind of suck to not get any value out of this Kedra, like not pump it at all, but we're gonna do this before he can scavenge the grounds it away. Make myself an 8-8. Eight eight. Alright. We're in trouble now. Now we need a glory bringer. Walking blister would be good. Now, I think this blist is going to die. Uh, how does this work? We go here now. We can ping this. So I don't want to play this land, even though this means that I can start activating it twice a turn. I'd rather try to turn this card into something else, I think. Because I think this is going to get glory ringered or something like that, so... That's, that's that's big game. I treasure map there. All right. And just coming in. I mean, he's probably. I would assume my opponent's sitting on like a Veraska's contempt because they haven't they haven't really had a good time to Veraska's contempt me, and they missed some land drops. So like, it makes sense that they'd have one of those. So I'm pretty sure we're just getting in here for a little bit of damage. <coughs> Put a card on the bottom. We definitely need to finish this game before this treasure map just kills us. Our best draws would be like putting on top, okay? Our best draws would be like a walking ballista. Um another glory bringer. I don't have any Chandras in my main deck. I don't Okay, so Demon Fall, a Glory B. If I could draw in a braid, I would take it. I would do a land which sucks. I would do another land which sucks. That's well turned sense is just like just so back breaking. I just didn't play around that. We can just F6 through this. And now we're we're gonna get buried here, I would assume. We need to draw like we need to draw some good ones right now. Jaya Ballad. Uh, 
didn't like their last card. Yeah, we're just, we're dead. We're not going to play through a Planeswalker and this treasure hero. Yeah, we just didn't, didn't have anything coming. Okay, so. Cards that I am interested in. I'm interested in these Chandras. I'm interested in, like, less removal. So I think I can kind of make a clean swap for this, for this. Um, we probably can get Bronte, old thrashy B in here. I want all these. The Rish cars, the Ronuses are like fine. They're just more threats. I don't know if I want to cut like a Glory Bringer for more like early interaction. I guess I kind of like Brontodon because it plays around. Um, yeah, it plays around Sweltering Suns really well. Rishkar kind of plays right in this Waltering Suns. Yeah, I think Rishkar, Rishkar plays like directly in this Waltering Suns. So I think we can get rid of that. Probably leave it like this. This guy's been sweet. He's been kind of like on par with the deck when it comes to like, we want cards that are good early and good late. So the guy like works with the Ronas, the Kavus, and the Ballista. It's kind of like my flexible package. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep it like this. Have you been playing a lot of Arena Arc Mage? Oh, this hand's pretty good. I think I'm gonna keep this. This hand's like really good and you know, I don't want, I want all of these cards in this matchup. Like the Glory Bringer might be, might be like a little stretch, but if we hit like a Jade Light Ranger, if we go like Land Ranger or just another land, if we draw like Runner Runner Lands, we're in good shape. We can even afford to miss once. Yeah, it might be red, green. Start doing Drowning work, yeah. It might be red, green, or black, green. Like a constrictor deck. I can totally see it being like a constrictor deck. Being better than, uh, than these. Better shell than these. Because, like, you know, Winding Strictors is really the card. And it can help you out with your mana. I mean, like, it only producing green is kind of annoying, but it can at least help with, like, the double green cards. I don't really see what white green does for you that red green doesn't, you know? Assuming that Verask is, cause like that angel is sweet. And then maybe like, unless you're playing like a Legends Matter deck, you can play like a Mox Amber maybe. Oh uh, yeah, you can do with all me, take your pick. Opponents just like, don't hit a land. Yep. Maybe that's it. I definitely don't like the white green mid range deck, I don't think. Alright, well, if that's not a land, it's the next best thing. So let's get in here. Alright, put that into the graveyard. Play my thicket. So this is gonna play into, we're, again, we're sort of playing into. I've, I've been seeing a lot of Karn decks and like Mardu Vehicles, and I think that's pretty sweet. I would be really tempted to try like a Mardu Vehicles deck. What is this? This is a Chandra. So now I think I just play my own what do I do here? I can attack this, play my attack his, play my own Chandra, plus it for mana and abrade this. Or I can play a Phoenix, but then you can go like negative. I think I'm gonna the problem is I'm not getting any cards out of my Chandra, which is kind of annoying. But 
If I can untap with this Chandra, I should be in pretty good shape. So let's make mana. I'm like pseudo getting a, like I'm getting some tempo out of my Chandra because I can get rid of this treasure map. Yeah, I saw Karn in a lot of Mardu Vehicles decks. Which, and then it was it was really good in those decks. Because you, it just, like, minus and made a bunch of, like, 4-4s four and 5-5s. Five and then, like, whatever. It drew cards when you needed it to. But it wasn't the main thing that it was doing. But I think, I think, I think Karn is meant to be, like, an aggressive card. I think you can take out the Hazards in Mardu Vehicles and play Karn. And be fine. If my opponent wants to get rid of this, they have to deal, they have to lose their shock for it. Which are fine. At least their shocker did something, like their shocker is going to have to kill two creatures, I think. seven lands in play. Alright, takes my glory B. Tempt, okay. I think I'm just going to get this Chandra off the board. And hopefully, they're already through two Doomfalls and a Contempt. So hopefully, these Rekindling Phoenixes can kind of take over the day here. Jaya Ballard, okay. The Jaya kind of works well with the Cut to Ribbons. It's nice that uh, it also makes mana. I'm just gonna play this land out. Cause like, you can discard the cut to ribbons and you can make a, make mana to pump the back end of it. So that's kind of cool. Is this, what, how much does it add? It adds three. So they ditch a braid mountain. So they just ditch two cards, okay. This hits the Kenra. We're gonna deal with the Chandra. I'm gonna hold my land. I mean, if they're gonna Doomfall, they're gonna Doomfall away one of these Phoenixes more than likely. Next turn, I can. Even if they do Doomfall then, next time I can play the land, bring back the Kenra, and probably kill this Jaya Ballard. I really like the Ken I like the resilient Kenras out of this thing. I didn't really like the Earthshaker Kenras, but I do I do like these I do like these ones a lot. They just like help you in such in like weird situations. And I'm probably just gonna follow this one, okay? So now we're just gonna hope that they don't have a removal spell for this Rekindling Phoenix, but even if they do, it's gonna come back there F6. And now my opponent's running on empty. <coughs> and then on a three turn claw. I'm gonna attack first. Not giving them the information in case they have some kind of. I don't know, they might have something. They might have like a moment of craving they want to save for. I don't know. Moment of craving kind of gives you more life here. Spray. Oh, we're gonna put that 
that in Puberty Garden. I'll play this land out so you know about it. So what are good... I mean, my opponent's dead on the board. They're dead if I draw... They're dead through a removal spell if I draw a Kenra. Okay. Nice. Go. Team Raider Chandra coming. Let me see. I wonder if I want to sideboard any differently on the draw. I still haven't seen, like, any creatures from my opponent. Death Gorge Scavenger is, like, a maybe now that we've seen Cuts or Ribbons. I don't know if there's any, like, grindy, recursive graveyard stuff in Standard. I can buy that the Death Gorge Scavenger is better than the Aegis. Now that we've seen cuts of ribbons. And they might have some more graveyard shenanigans. We don't need three ballistas. But ballistas is like one of the ballistas like we were just talking about. It's good early, it's good late. So I think I want. Alright. We can draw, we can hit a land. We're in good shape. We can deal with the treasure map. I feel like treasure map makes his deck go. Ronus might be. Maybe I shouldn't have Ronus in my deck. It's again, it's a card that's like situationally very good. I'm probably gonna restart Moto after this match. We look like we're lagging a little bit. Restart Moto and get some coffee. This Brontodon was like un very underwhelming when I played against Mono Red. Don't play a Shondra on an open board, please. Good fall, like, good luck, man. I'm probably playing the Jade Light Ranger here next turn. I would like to just filter my draws here. I hope they don't take the Jade Light Ranger. It's gonna be very sad if they take the Jade Light Ranger here. The Brontodon's also not as great because they have cuts ribbons. If they take Jade Light, I think I'm going to lead with old Thrashy B. How's the chat doing today? 75 of you guys are in here. I really appreciate all that. Peace. Get thrashy, thrashing brown to not in the play. Yeah, I'm lagging, I'm lagging here a bit. Gonna have to give Magic Online the old restart. <coughs> That's a really good card. I think I'm gonna play my Ronus before I play this because I'd rather get my Ronus contempted than my Rekindling Phoenix right now. Because, like, Rotus is going to be better if I have, like, eight lands in play. But with four lands in play, the, King, the Phoenix is better. Yeah, so this gets contempted. Saw that coming. Next turn, we'll get in there with Bronte Boy. I can't imagine my opponent has. Maybe they have, like, Tetsamok. If someone's got Tetsamok, I'll probably be on it. Lost Legacy. They're gonna name it here. They can name it. Okay. That kind of sucks. We do get a card out of it. But we're getting the Phoenix is really good. We only have three, which is nice. I only played three because it was like super laughable. Jayla Ranger's a really good draw. It was super, super laughable against um whatever it was. Uh um the chain whacker. Out of mono red, and I was like, I was really excited. I was like, oh, you play Rekindling Phoenix because it's really good against mono red. And then it was just like a complete joke. Love how this Brontodon is matching up against Swap Suns. I'm assuming, like, they easily. No, I guess they don't have Swap Suns. They're not easily. Okay. My opponent is running on empty. I'll put Ronus on top. Because we're getting to the point of the game where we have the mana to start using Ronus. Like, if we draw a land after we draw Ronus, we're going to be able to go, like, pump, play another creature. Just have, like, super efficient turns. We have Deadlands, my, the old thrashy boy. 
Alright. Makes my Ronas. It's gonna make my Ronas less good. But. I think I'm still gonna run it out there. I'm still going to put it out there, because as long as I can start using it, it's going to be good. And we're getting to that point where I can almost start just using it every turn. i got to kill them before, because I'm assuming there's like a bomb in their deck somewhere. Like, they've got to have some kind of big go-over-the-top red, green, red, black, red bomb card. I think it's like a Tetsamok. Doomfall. Okay, we'll get rid of old... While they're revealing the hand. Take Death Lord Scavenger, okay? Draw land. Alright. That's better than land. Coming in with a team. You're on notice. If we draw land, they're dead through a removal spell. Yep, there we go. Alright, I'm going to put the sponsor page up here. And then I'm just going to restart Moto here. Um, the, this video is going to be archived up on YouTube after, so if you like the deck, you're going to be able to find it. Two matches, two and out. I'm like, I like how I like the changes I made to this deck. Like, I'm, I'm a pretty, I like. I like the theme that I've got going on here where I want cards that are good early and I want cards that are good late. Because there's so much mana in the deck. Between like Llanowar Elves, Jade Light Ranger, um, and then having 25 lands. Yeah, man, it's, been, it's a good stream. It's a good stream. I appreciate everybody for hanging out today. I hope y'all are having a great, great rest of your, great start to your Sunday morning. I'm gonna go. Grab some coffee while it slows. And I know that my, my deck's my deck's pretty unexplored when it comes to like the archetype and the new cards because like with the card order sponsorship I only get I have to wait a couple days in order to get the cards but I just wanted to start playing it because my I'm gonna play in the Star City games in Baltimore and it's like a mixed format so I want to see what's good the cards that have really impressed me are like I think Chain Whacker is really good and I think Karn is very good like Chain Whacker has just played oh there's my Discord there Chainwhacker has just played so well. It's the reason why I've only got two, I've only got three Rekindling Phoenixes in my deck. Dude, that's a good day there, Farby. How are you, Farby? How'd your, uh, how'd your rugby tournament go? Number three is high for me. I, I usually, I've been number one before, but that was while there was a standard Grand Prix going on and I was playing before the standard Grand Prix and I was playing modern. I got up to like 250 viewers. I got like a monster, I got a monster um, host and then a lot of people stayed. It was really, it was a good time. Double queuing, which is great. I love it when my opponents double queue and waste my life. All right, we're gonna ship this. Only one land. Keep this. We get the old elf on two. Our elf on one. We can play Rishkar on two. And we're just gonna put a land on top. This is this is like the draw. I mean, this is what Lionel Royal's gonna do today. So we can see, we can see here. If Lionel Royal lives, we can see you know how good it really is. Looks like it's not gonna live. Oh, it's going to live. Yes. Look at this. We put four power on the board on turn two. 
I'm all about it. They're playing it's a mono black deck of some sort. Alright, that card's super annoying. But I'm just going to offer a trade. Oh, this was stupid. I should have... Well, I guess my Kenra's not even that good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 48 nothing. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to play this. And I'm just going to play the Kenra. No, I should have tapped the Land of War Elf in order to hold red mana up. That was a mistake. Because now if my opponent... I mean, I don't know what I would Magma Spray. I probably would Magma Spray... I probably wouldn't Magma Spray anything. Because Magma Spray is so cheap that I can wait. And I would love to just, like, exert on something. Feels kind of bad to trade my 3-drop for their 2-drop. But, like, it's just one for one. I still get some value. Alright, that sucks. Slows me down. I missed the land drop, though. So they're slowed down wicked. It sucks we've been able to glory be this turn. Worried about... I'm not even going to kill a Glintz. I'm not going to kill anything probably here. Because it's just playing the Glory Bringer. And this is what we're talking about with the deck here. Like, we play 25 lands and uh, an, explore, an Explore creature and 4 Explore creatures and 4 Ramp cards. So we draw a lot of lands. So it's good to have 6. Oh, the songs played through Nightbok there. Tenor, tenor Mass. Trenomaris. Sorry if I'm not spelling that right. Jeez. Oh, let me look here. The song is... It's called Silent Partner by Parasail. I can't even hear it. I don't even listen to the music. The music's for the viewers. Like, because if I play the music, I don't have, like, I have a nice mic, but I don't have, like, a good headset. So I can't hear. I can't really hear what's going on with everything. I think it just messes up my, uh, messes up my whatever it's called. Okay. Unfortunately, Fairfield imported some coconuts that came next weekend in my charter contest. I'm sure you'll do well, Harvey. So we're going to guess that they're, like, a mono black aggro deck. That's what I'm going to guess until I see something different. Uh, probably don't want Ronus because we're going to be trading off creatures. Especially with like Glen Sleep Siphoner. Or they're, they're, I mean, they probably have like a lot of Aetherborns and a lot of. Probably not Gaunti. They might go up to Gaunti though. It's not like the big green morons. I don't think I want any more removal. I'm going to look to bring these Chandra's in on the play. I just like this card in the play in, in a lot of matchups. But not mono red. As long as they're a little slower than mono red, I like I like Sean with the play. Yeah, I just found like some kind of lame non-copyright music so I can upload these to YouTube. I like listening to like 80s music, but I don't have any non-copyright music, which kind of blows. So I think you got a mulligan in this hand here. Like, we don't have... Like, if this was a stomping ground, maybe. But... We don't hit another land, we're just up a creek. This is one of these awkward... You know... And we have to, like, we can't keep a land. We don't can't keep that either. We could go double elf on two, which is kind of cool. Which means we can play Lord Runner on three. Oh, okay, so they were just color screwed. So maybe they're a token deck. No, so there's some kind of tribal deck. They're a vampire, they're black white vampires, cool. I'm gonna hold that land, I feel like I'm gonna likely be cycling this. Yeah, I keep all the volume down on all of my, on all of my, uh, 
my streams, so I can't hear, I, I can't even hear like, the, whenever there's a Twitch alert, I don't hear it because it sounds really bad on my YouTube video. I don't really know how to fix that. Wow, they got stuck on my YouTube video. Um, I'm gonna cycle this now because, well actually, I've only got two land or else in my deck, so I'm not gonna cycle it. Well, one land or else in the bottom of my library. So like, I don't even think it's really worth like it would only matter if the top card of my deck was like Glory Bringer. Or the second from the top card of my deck was Glory Bringer. Alright. I don't think this vampire deck is gonna be very good anymore. Because like Like I would assume that you had a really good mono red matchup, but now like with that chain whacker, that that chain whacker card is like the chain whacker card is nuts. Absolutely nuts. I played against like I played against Andrew Jessup yesterday and did not play very well. Made a lot of mistakes because I was just like dumbfounded by how good. This is annoying. I have to look, remember to board in maybe something like Thrashing Brontodon the next match. Um. I just played poorly because I was like, wow, dude, he is completely stopping me at every single aspect of this game. Because, like, the Chain Whacker, like, my whole plan against him was to just, like, okay, I'm playing against Mono Red, let's just hide behind a Rekindling Phoenix. And he, that card just made Rekindling Phoenix, like, a complete joke. So what does this give it? This gives, um, we have plus one, plus one, as long as you have a Sims Blessing. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. What? I think I'm just gonna clear his board here. It's gonna make it so he's farther away from the city's place than you can. It's gonna make it harder to um harder to flip this Legion's landing. Feels kind of mopey, but. Chandra's in now that, now that I like see this is like a go wide deck. You are good. You are good at making some of the lands come off the top here. Yeah, I mean he like. Well, that's the yeah, they have a city blessing in three threes. I just like I'm so dead. I need like a flying card here. All right. I mean at least that does something. Probably have to shoot one of these down just so this Legion landing doesn't flip. Yeah, the Chain Whirler card is so good. Like, that card is ridiculous. That card might be better than Karn. It might be the best, like, well, the only thing that makes it so, like, it's not played everywhere is because it has, like, is because it's triple red, which is probably good. We're gonna be able to put two counters a turn on this. Ballista. So, you know, we're gonna be sinking our mana for the rest of the game. That's a huge problem. So this is a this becomes a six six power. So I probably have to just like shoot this with both with all my stuff next turn. I would have liked to see my opponent attack first. Yeah, I gotta kill this next turn. So they're gonna flip their legions landing, which is pretty annoying. Wow, they didn't even, that's unreal. They didn't flip their legion's landing. This is 
not feel super great, but I think I've got to, I think I've got to take care of this thing. Like, I have a very slim chance at winning. A Rekindling Phoenix is a really good draw, but if my opponent starts like drawing two cards a turn, I could wait one turn, I guess. But now that we've started down this line, we've got to finish it. Maybe I should let them draw a card. I don't know, they don't seem like they have a lot going on. They just slam another one of these, I'm gonna puke. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, you draw. You draw X cards, so they draw four cards. Yeah, that just kills me. Alright, so we need Thrashy B after board. And I'm just gonna like double block one of these and trade with one. Yeah, they have lifelink too, we're just we're just Okay, so we don't want Chandra. We want Thrashy. We want Bronthodon. Ronus is probably good as well. Um, maybe I don't want any removal. Maybe Struggle Survive is probably fine because it hits his big stuff. Um, we're bringing cards with attack. Actually, I'm not going to bring a scavenger in. I'm going to bring in another struggle to survive. So that if my opponent... Um, we have so many threes. So that if my opponent uh, lands one of those big dumb cards, I can kill it. Yeah, I can't imagine if they had Barontodon and Ferocidon. Or not Barontodon. Um, Chain Whirler, Chain Whacker and Ferocidon in the same format. Alright, we're going to keep this. I'm gonna play the Ballista on two. Because this becomes a 5 5. If I don't do anything. But I'm gonna play it. Like, if I don't draw anything else, I'm gonna play. Actually, I'm gonna play. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Likely, I'm actually gonna play this on two because this Ballista has, like, bigger things to do, I think. Especially considering they have a Fatal Push. Man, here, this is what they're representing. Okay. I like this card. I'm a big fan of this guy. Does we can sell it? The card is very good. Yeah, Ferocidon's a better card. Now I think I'm not going to cycle this. I think I'm just gonna like. Vigilance and Trample. This thing, this thing's so good. So here's what I can do. I can play this tapped now. Yeah, I'm gonna play this tapped. I'm gonna hope my opponent doesn't have anything like... This Untamed Kabu's got Vigilance. I should play more of these cards. I didn't realize I had Vigilance and Trample. I thought it was just a 2-2. I thought it was just a bear that got larger. So we'll happily trade this off. with our homeboy here. If my opponent blocks, I might struggle to survive it. Because I'm going to be just casting Glorybringers for the rest of the game. Nah, that's going to be kind of funny. It's already drawn a card. Oh god, alright chat, we're going for a ride. We're going for a ride, chat. We gotta show you something cool here. Oh, it went dark. Sorry, you're gonna have to watch through this now. My dog sleeps on his back. play this here and I think I'm gonna just gonna exert the glory bringer like just keep his board under control it also lets me attack with my ballista it feels kind of mopey to exert on token but like you gotta do what you gotta do dude 
and Philly Boy's the man. I love this dog so much. So I could just exert on this. I think I want to exert on this thing. And then struggle to survive this next turn while using the ballista to kill it. Because as of right now, without another anthem, just struggle kills it, I guess. Or I can save the struggle, ping this, ping one here, play another ballista. Love to draw a land for that line, so I can play some, a couple two two ballistas. That would be very good for me. Dude, I love I love dogs so much. Philly is Philly is just such a good dog. So if I actually block, hang on. If I block and shoot, then he's just dead. So yeah, we're gonna go block. Oh no, what happened? Did I click through it? Oh, that's annoying. That is so annoying. <sighs> that is so annoying. Oh my god, now this game is getting so difficult. It's alright, they're out of cards. There's a little moto prop. We're gonna struggle this. Play a ballista for one. Play a tap land. And then we're gonna get in next turn with the glory bringer. I don't just win though, right? If all of a sudden I miss something. Easily could have missed something. I was thinking about Phil, so. Guys, to play Phoenix. Was my opponent down more there? And I missed it. I'm just gonna play my lands out also because I would like to. If I draw another land, then I start to put two counters on the ballista. <laughs> or I can like hatch up Oasis, my opponent. I don't really know. There's a lot. There's a lot of different ways we do okay here. Nice, nice. All right, three and two. The ballistas have been very good. Oh, I don't know if you can hear my dog, but he is like, let me see if you guys, let me know if you guys can hear this. My dog is snoring up a storm. Philly snores so much. Hey, Captain Tommy. Thank you very much. I appreciate the support there. What a guy. We're up over 100 viewers. Holy shnikes. Got a little Yoda action on the screen. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been a really awesome stream. We got over 100 people here playing some standard. Yeah. Isn't he so cute, dude? You can hear him. What, have you been watching for a while, Captain Tommy? Dude, this right here. Here's the draw. This hand's pretty bad, but I'm just going to keep it because I can play a turn two Jade Light. I'd like to let the world know that my opponent's going to elf first. Now, now I'm in trouble. I'd like to let the world know that I know I'm keeping a very bad hand because I can play Jade Light on two. Oh, Tom. Tom, how you doing? 
Captain Tommy B, what a name. Okay, so they're going to shoot this down. This is a bit annoying. So I actually think I'm going to play the shelter ticket instead of cycle it because I'm going to, I need the red sources. So watching some sweet, some sweet, uh, standard action, Tom. I like this deck, Tom. I did some switches with it from the stream yesterday. This guy's big. Maybe we want this guy in the deck too. This guy's kind of cool. Just a big dude. All right, let's not draw any more lands. Um, Ballista. Ballista lets me shoot down both of these next turn. So I think we're going to put Ballista on top. We're going to get smacked by this thing. Like this thing's coming in. It's going to hurt. But we can take a beating. Alternatively, I can just smack one. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just like play out... A play a ballista look to trade here my opponent's already got a lot of mana so I don't really know what like more they can do with their mana I guess they could like play a Nissan ultimate or play like just a bunch of those Ripjaw Raptor I almost played a Ripjaw Raptor in here so what are we doing I need to start dealing with these because these things are just gonna start like beating my face in so I think I'm going to Play this for two. Pass, block, shoot. Next turn, play Rishkar. So I can play Rishkar, one, two, three. Play Rishkar, put a token, put one on here. I can play Rishkar and Jade Light next turn. And then hopefully this Ballista just takes us to the Promised Land. I probably could play a Ballista in this deck, or a Ripjaw Raptor in this deck. Jeez. Well, I think it's got Trample. Well, we're dead. Just LOL. We're gonna we're gonna put a good fight up though. God, we can abrade it. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe my opponent won't attack. And this is just like, like we see how good Lana War Elf was on the other side. Like my opponent killed my dude. We're just playing this for fun now. Oh yeah, look at the value. Look at the value as we stare into the, stare right down the barrel of this Galta. Donna's climb, okay. All right, we're figuring out more about our opponent's deck. So our opponent's just like this big dumb Sultai deck. So we actually just can't survive because we're super dead. But at least we have to figure out they have a Donna's time in their deck. Yeah, we're just going to concede. So like that was, you know, they elfed before we elfed and we lost. That's going to be a common thing of standard, I think. So I kind of want Chandra's on the play. Probably don't need as many of these braids. Kind of want to keep them... Well, we don't want the magma sprays on the play. We want them on the draw, I think. Um, probably can cut one a braid. Maybe I'll cut two... Like, on the draw, I don't think I want too much removal. On the play, I mean. I think I want... I think I want to be like really explosive. Then I'm gonna board my Chandra's out on the on the draw and play more removal. I think we just want to like get the brown. Get, whoa, did I accidentally hit submit? What did I, what did I sideboard? All right, I sideboarded. Okay. 
Um, no, we can play Land Elf on one, and then we can uh, play a Kenra on two and a Tap Land. We're definitely just going to smoke a Land Elf. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Look at this. Land War Elf getting in there for three points of damage. Then I'm going to pump the Kenra next turn. I think he's, if my opponent's just straight blue green, I think their deck's probably kind of awful. Because, like, yeah, we got to kill that. That guy's got to die. Because, like, my opponent's deck can't kill a Glensleeve Siphoner. And even though, like, Glensleeve Siphoner is not a super part of the format right now, I'm sure it will become one. Do I want Brontosaurus for the climb? Maybe. I don't know what to sideboard out. So maybe I'll, I'm going to sideboard out a lot of cards in the draw. I'm going to bring in a lot more removal on the draw. That's a pretty good draw there. I'm gonna cut my Chandra's. I might even cut. I wonder if you're supposed to cut Lanowar Elf on the draw. Or if you need it to like catch up. But if they go like Lanowar Elf, do something, then you're kind of in trouble. Yeah, Lanowar Elf's kind of cool when it does that. Alright, we can kill that. Because we have Shovel to survive. Alright, we're just gonna smoke that. I mean, Lanowar Elf's not even that good right now. But what is this Abrade hitting? This Abrade's not hitting anything. I think I would just like to choke my opponent's mana as much as possible. And this could become a threat with Hadana's Climb. Man, we are just drawing all the struggle to survive. I really like how this card, like, makes your attacks better. It like And it's sweet how it pumps Llanowar Elf. Like, if you just play Elf on... One, it's kind of dirty if you don't have a three drop. This can make it so it's like a good blocker. That's That kind of sucks. So we kind of can ram our Kenra into this thing. Unless if they have a Blossoming Defense. Yeah, if my opponent Blossoming Defense is me, then it's like whatever. At least I can bring this Kenra back. And one land off of that. I could have pumped it. I guess. Blossoming defense. Yep. Sad. At least next turn, if I draw a land, I can bring the Kenra back here, and then this Kenra beats over the top of this thing. Even if they have a Blossoming defense, it trades with it. Chandra would be a really good draw right here. Brontodon's, Brontodon's big. So Galta cost... Galta's power, right? Wow, that's a bold... So I actually think I want to attack with my Kenra. Because it's not doing anything right now. No, I might as well not attack with that. I can block with it. So now this Phoenix is gas. This is why another reason why I like the I like adding like the green card the red cards to the deck because like you get these big dumb ground creatures that clog the board up, and now all of a sudden, like, I just don't interact with that anymore. Yeah, I mean that's sweet, dude. Nice Galta. But this Galta is kind of cool. Okay, so now we're going to sideboard way differently. <coughs> we're going to cut these. I think we're going to cut the Ronus. I think we're going to bring the Magma Sprays back in. I probably can shave on a Kenra because we're not going to be attacking. We probably don't need all four of the sprays and then maybe we can get some Bronte D action 
Probably want one more struggle. I feel like walking ballista is much worse on the play on the draw because you can't like on the play you can like smoke their land or elf. Maybe I want to cut one of my elves for the fourth magma spray. We got eleven removal spells plus glory B. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Whatever. I think Llanowar Elf is going to help us catch up. 121, 121 viewers. You guys are great. And I appreciate it. It's a fun stream. It's a fun stream because you all are here. We're probably going to lose if we're going to be if we're going to be honest here. We're on the draw in the land of War Elf Mirror. I think my opponent's deck is very... Is very... Uh, um, I don't know. Like, having having playing that three drop in... That th triple green card in your blue-green deck seems ambitious. My opponent's tanking on whether they want to play first in the land of War Elf Mirror. You gotta, you gotta think about those. You gotta think about the lines, man. Um, a braid's just a. Uh, I guess a braid's kind of bad, right? Yeah, you're right. I think we keep this hand. I just want. I guess when I when I kept a braid in, I just wanted to like. How do I? Interact with his creatures as much as possible to keep Galta off the board. Wow, so we're not going to get... Sweet, dude, this is awesome. All right, that's like the second best draw if we're not going to draw land. Get out of my face. Here comes that 3-3 three, three beater. Or that 5-4 beater. The Phoenix lines up pretty good with that, though. God, look at this, dude. Oh, Adonis Climb on an empty board. Yeah, we're going to have a shitload of mana here pretty soon. I don't think we want this. Drew another land, okay. So, I think next turn I might just play a 2-2 two -two Ballista. Yeah, that thing's big. It's just a zero one that comes back. All right, so we're in trouble. This is flip. Three or more. How do I win? I probably need. I probably need to play a two-two ballista. Then next turn, I'll have five mana. Plus, I'll have seven mana. Use three. Then this becomes a three-three. Yeah, this thing's gonna be tough here. Unless I draw my boy Bronte. And I can't even like double block here. I'm just gonna take six in the face, which is gonna suck. Glorybringer's not even a good draw next turn because it's out of range. Taking seven. Land or Elves is awesome. So this thing just kills me next turn. Which is scary, but kind of like what we got to do, I guess. Two, that's pretty bad. No, oh, that's actually pretty. All right, so this might get us out of this tough situation here. Actually, it's not going to. 
Oh yeah, we're just like super dead to this thing. No, I should have played the Rekindling Phoenix. It doesn't really fix my problem because it gets trampled, right? No, yeah, I should have played the Rekindling Phoenix. I could have just chunked forever. That was a mistake. Yeah, I thought I got trample. Yeah, I should have just played the Phoenix and then just like brick walled his dude for the rest of the game. Though I still could play the Phoenix and brick wall his dude for the rest of the game. If my opponent like lets this resolve and lets me choose targets first. If my opponent lets me choose targets, we still can win. If my opponent doesn't let me choose targets, we can't win. Come on, dude. Let it resolve. You know you want to. You know you want to. Yeah. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. So I need to kill this. I need to add green mana. So what is this doing? This is targeting Jade Light Ranger. Okay. So we still have plenty of mana, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got a chance. So this thing's just going to block this for the rest of the game, basically. <coughs> Though if they play a Galta, oh my God. Give me the phoenix as you free my soul. Servant. God, are we going to win this game? As long as my opponent doesn't draw Galta, we might win. God, we are totally going to win this game. Um, probably just want to play this. We're at the point of the game where all I do, all I want is mana. <laughs> There's a Johnny B quote if I've ever heard one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We start putting two counters a turn on this thing. Why does it say my Phoenix was summoning sick? Can something be summoning sick and have haste? Oh man, why didn't they just wait and kick it and then fight this? That was dumb. They should have just taken a turn off. That was like a super bad move from our opponent. God, we might win this game. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can just put, I can just pass and put four counters on this a turn. It only has haste, oh, okay. Now I gotta think though, cause he can, Put a counter on this. I still might die. Maybe I have to put a counter. Let's see if he attacks. I'm going to attack with my Rishkar. And if he blocks, then I'm just going to put counters on this and kill it. Because I need to make sure. I need to not let him put two creatures into play. So I'm going to attack with this and the, the Rishkar and the Jade Light. Because if he goes to the air with two of these, then I'm going to lose. Because this gets another token, and then it flips, and then, well, it doesn't necessarily flip, but. Okay. 
Okay. So now, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing another mana. Do we just do we just toss it? One, two, three, four. Ooh, that was bad. Um I guess I still have to do it. One, two, three. Yeah, that was a that was a serious that was a serious mess up. Well, I might as well play the Rishkar. Now, let me see how I can fix this. Should I put a counter? I need to put a counter on the Ballista. I'll put a counter on the Ballista, and I'll put a counter on... Whichever... I'll probably just put another counter on the Land of War Elf. Yeah, that was a, that was a fuck up. Because I can't, like... If I had a wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I still couldn't have done it because I needed a magma spray, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's that's what that's what we're working on here. So we're gonna keep this one. Put a counter on here and here. And I'm actually gonna do this right now. I don't know if my opponent's got like a a. Uh, I don't know if my opponent's got something like a magma or a blossoming defense. But we want to make sure that like he can't activate this. We're gonna do this right now because we do it in our upkeep. They can just like pick this one and then flip this one, and then if they draw another land, get this. So we gotta do this now. And then like all of a sudden, my opponent can't really attack. So I need another, if I draw another Rekindling Phoenix, I'm probably going to be alright. I would have lost my Ballista anyways, because I couldn't put two counters on it and Magma Spray something. But... Now if my opponent attacks, do I just like kill them? If my opponent attacks at me and doesn't present a blocker, they're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't even think they can attack. Yeah, we're doing it. So, if I attack here, I put them to four. I'm dead on board to like anything that deals with this Phoenix. So I might as well just play like they don't have it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with everything, put them to four, and then next turn Hesh up Oasis my Phoenix. Or put them to six, excuse me. And then Hesh up Oasis deals seven. And then just like pray to Jesus that they don't draw something to deal with this Phoenix. Now it's like your move, dude. It's on you, bud. If they have a haste thread here, this would kind of suck. Or a flash thread. Like they, I guess the only card, even the 3-3 the three, three flash merfolk dude doesn't do anything. And even a ballista doesn't do it because they can't Hadana's climb. And then they're not, they're done on the board even through a Ballista. Because they can't Ballista and Hedonis climb and kill a Phoenix. So they just drew a land. Yes. All right, there we go. We got it. Dude, take that. Dude, flying. Let me tell you about flying. 
Flying has won us like all of these matches today. Like just the fact that our stupid card, like we all have a bunch of stupid cards that like run into each other, and my stupid cards just like fly. That's literally it. We got just, I, like all of us just got a big dumb, bunch of dum dums, and one of us has dum dums that flies, and that's what matters. My opponent's like, dude, how did I lose this game? My opponent had like the nut too. They had the Hadamas climb draw and they still lost. Does this thing have reach? Didn't think so. That'd be so stupid if a T-Rex had reach. My opponent's going out in style. Oh my God, it gets flying. Oh no, it does have flying. Oh, they can climb and block. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Ooh! <laughs> We're gonna. That one is worth laughing about. That one is worth laughing about. Forgot that they could block. Well, we deserve that one. I wonder what would have happened had that game gone long. I feel like if that game goes longer, I wonder who wins. Uninstall. I'm probably just gonna like, I'm probably just gonna like jump off my building now. Just right off the top of my building. My viewer plump, my viewer count is just gonna like plummet right in half. Totally was like, all this green deck does is attack. I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna need like a beer. I'm just gonna switch from coffee to beer after that bullshit. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab some more coffee. Billy, why weren't you there to help me? Why weren't you there to tell me? Like, Dad, he can Hadana's climb. Uh, we're going to keep his hand. We're going to play our Llanowar Elf on one. And hopefully play our Rekindling Phoenix on three. We're still playing for the uh, four one, so we're playing for like a good amount of it. Oh, yeah. That's, like, part of the stream struggle. You know, like, you start talking to people, you start talking about your deck, and then you just don't pay attention. Yeah, you're right, noob skills. Hey, Philly. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad. Do you want to be in the stream, buddy? Come here. Oh. Oh. What do you think, bud? Wow, you're going to eat my face on the camera? There's going to be so many witnesses. Yeah, dude, just lick it off. Just, like, lick my cheek off. Exactly. Phil, do you have anything to say to the chat? Chat, my dad sucks at magic. You look so smart sitting like this. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, sweet. We drew another elf. Joke's on you, bud. Oh. Viewers oh. about to skyrocket. We got Phil, dude. I just lost, like, 20 viewers because I went full moron. What is this, Phil? We got a Dusky Boy, Phil? What are we going to do about Dusky Boy? See, this is also sweet because it's Kenra. Well, never mind. There he is. Philly, wave to the chat. Wave to the chat, Phil. Can I lick you? Oh, I love you, Phil. Oh, Philbert. All right, bud. I'm going to get back to it. This at, at this stream, we play like shit, but our dog is cute as fuck. That's what matters. No, it's on, it's on Dominion, it's on MTGO right now. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna get the damage in. We're gonna, we're gonna try to end this game. Yeah, whatever, we're just gonna like, we're going pedal to the metal. 
And then we're definitely attacking with our Kenra next turn. Because, like, if it gets eternalized, we're all about it. I guess I should have maybe saved that Magma Spray for, like, a lifelinking vampires. If he plays like the 3-3, three, three, yeah, see that? Now I feel stupid. All right, well, we can at least get some of them off the battlefield. Try to get it. I'm going to keep them off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess I'll wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta make sure they don't get. I think the vampire decks are good. They're kind of like. I think they're good because people. Oh, that's bad. That's okay though. Maybe they'll go for it. They're like, I need to gain all the life. Okay, so now I gotta get them off the city's blessing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They already played a land. Definitely not gonna block my land of war elves because, like, as it stands right now, if I kill one of these. Um, I'm going to have Lethal with a Glorybringer off the top. Or six, or a Kenra. Glorybringer or Kenra wins me the game. Or a Walking Blista. Glorybringer, Kenra, Walking Blista. We got two Kenras, four Glorybringers, and three Walking Blistas. I guess Ballista's not lethal. One, two, three, four, five. No, Ballista's, Ballista's not lethal. But yeah, it is, because we attack with Land or Elves. Come on, baby. Yeah. Because this is... Seven. God, I'm so good at this game. I just savagely punt this game so hard in the last match. Then I draw my, like, seven outer. Oh, what a jerk. What are you doing? Don't chew that, buddy. I get I spent so much goddamn money getting you toys, and then you just like chew all the random shit. So now I can block hopefully we do this right. Like we block this and then shoot them and don't take any damage. Yeah. But, like, apparently we can't do that because we moto punt it every time. <laughs> yeah, like, that's cool. That does not save you. All right, I want to let the chat know. I want to let the chat know that I mean to block this and shoot them. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. Okay. Do I have priority? Sweet. Go team. Do I love it when I moto? Right. Okay. So against this deck, uh, we want Thrashy B. We did it, Reddit. Moron forgets Adonis Climb can be activated on his turn. Then clicks right. So on the I don't even know how to sideboard against this deck because like none of our cards are very good. I want Thrashy B. Uh, I probably want Struggles. I don't want Magma Sprays and a Braids. I could bring in Chandra because it does something. And a Braid really does nothing. Chandra can at least tick up and threaten an ultimate if he like stumbles. I don't really know. 
I think I want to play more of this guy. This untamed Kabu. I think I want more of him. I think it's pretty good. Exactly, dude. Guy that plays way too much Magic Online figures out how Magic Online works. Dude, land or elf off the top. Oh, we're just gonna play this. I, I doubt we're gonna cycle it. I would like to draw something so I don't have to play my my Kenra next turn because I don't get any value out of it. Martyr of Dusk. Well, we're not. It's not like we're not gonna cast it. Can I play my land? Got you, man. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack. Like and I think I'm gonna play Ronus and then go Phoenix and hold Jade Light for a little while. Alright. I feel like my opponent shouldn't be doing this. Like, they're the guy that has the two one. Like the card that's better on defense. Oh yeah. Dude, we're just going to curve a bunch of flyers. We're going to slam into our opponent for like the next four turns in a row. There's going to be... I'm going to take uh, Philly out after this match and then I'll be back for another, another one here. What do we got here? We're going to push this guy. They are doing it because they have Call the Feast. All right, that makes sense. This Call of the Feast card is going to be pretty annoying, though. Yeah. It's like I was playing with Sweltering Suns in my sideboard for a little while, but it just felt so bad to be the Sweltering Sun Lana War Elf deck. All right, we're just going to play this, and we're going to play this, and then we're going to attack. They were not going to exert our glory bringer. They're going to contempt. Cast out. Sure. What are you casting out? This? Sweet. So what is this? Five. They gain three. We go to 11. You know, we might be in trouble. We do have some pumps. Oh, yeah. Whatever. I love dragons. I just dead on the board. Two, four, six, nine. Awesome. We're dead to two radiant flames, radiant destinies, I guess. We're just going fast and loose here today. That's sweet. Oh yeah. And they don't even have mana up. Oh yeah. Phil, we're going to do it. Phil, we're going to 4-1. I'm so proud of you, Dad. God, we even had more where that's coming from. I think it's actually right. Let's do, let's do this right. I think it's actually right to exert on these two things. Look at this, man. We got a combo deck here. We got a combo deck with our flying dragons. Let's open up a couple chests because Tom subscribed. Way to go, Tom. Tom and your sweet emote. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'm going to shut my YouTube video off.